All right, we got another raw edit. This is Nakai Takaharu at Rusutsu Resort just a couple days ago. Let's kick off with a couple riding shots here. Yeah, that is Ito Ito, young rider from Hokkaido. The first order of business is to get some rice balls from Seiko Mart. The second order of business is to drive to Rasutsu for a powder filled morning session. Chicken curry onigiri. Check this out. I just got this board, a Field Earth X1 that I've had for quite a few years, back from G Tune. My buddy Gaku, who is an amazing uh, waxologist out in central Hokkaido. I left this board with him and look at the job he has done. It is so shiny and so smooth and so beautiful. I almost hate to ride it. We are going to put bindings on this beast and we are going to go for some runs here at Rusutsu Resort. I am so hyped today. It is dumping out of here. I actually felt like this board was too fast. Like I strapped in and I almost fell down uh, getting into this line. And then this was just so fast. It was incredible. Kind of got the feel of the board, which I hadn't ridden for a couple years actually, and different bindings and just kind of a different setup from what I've been riding uh, this last two weeks of the season. So it was kind of weird and it kind of threw me off for a moment. And then after that, it was just beautiful. It was one of those magical experiences. You know, one of the five best days I've ever had on a snowboard is what I got to feel. You know, it was just so fast and so smooth. And the snow was so good. And the guys I was with were a great little group. So it was just all in all, it added up to a really magical day at Rusutsu Resort, my home mountain. This is where I first started snowboarding, you know, 35 years ago, back in uh, 1985. So it is always a pleasure to come back to Rusutsu, and I'm looking forward to many more days. Look at this. Look at the conditions. It's still not like, you know, 100%. There's, there's bamboo grass, and there's little bushes and stuff, but... Basically, it has snowed nonstop there for the last two weeks. And this was my first day up on the mountain. Yeah. And it was just good to see the condition and all the snow caked on the trees. And, you know, the lift in the background there just covered in deep snow. It's so, so beautiful right now. Dropping in here to what is called the B course. There's A, B, C, and D. This one is B. And Nakai was like, let's go do B. The entrance had some rocks. You can see a couple little thin spots there. It's those westerly winds that hit that ridge and just doesn't really allow the snow to build up on the ridge. But once you get past that into this section, it was deep. There were a couple lines in there already. We weren't the first ones, but it was so good. And uh, I love just following guys like these, this who can, you know, ride so well, boosting those sprays. That's just, just beautiful to watch and fun to follow. Uh, Tsutomu, cameraman, my neighbor, great guy, and uh, he was having fun today. No heavy cameraman backpack on this day. Now Kai with a couple of butters. He rides for Solomon, of course. 
and uh, got his own board design there. You can see uh, he and Stomo are both riding it. Ito, Ito, who I just met for the first time on this day, I just randomly bumped into them in the car park, which was kind of cool as well. <laughs> I used to uh, work and do a lot of photography for a brand called Blue Blood here in Japan, and uh, that wear I'm wearing now is not from that brand, but it kind of is reminiscent of the style. So they were uh, they were saying that about my wear. Really like my uh, my jacket, my new jacket there. Here I am following Naokai down. Uh, this is, uh, what is this? This is like the Heavenly Canyon course, I think it is. There were more lines in there now. Not a lot of people on the mountain though. I gotta say, the resort, if you go into the restaurants and the cafes, it's packed, there's tons of people. But then out on the hill, it was pretty empty as you can see. I mean, there's, there's some people and some lines, but it's still nothing like uh, it was, you know, a few years ago at the peak of the ski bubble, you may call it. Yeah. Word on the street, though, is that more people are going to be showing up like tomorrow, Christmas, Christmas Eve. I mean, this is when, you know, traditionally the ski tourist season really starts. Yeah! cheesy track that I found there, but uh, I don't know, I like that for some reason. There's me sitting down there. Um, visibility was tricky in some sections. You get that kind of white out effect, and then there was all these little wind, wind lips that were built up, and uh, it's pretty easy to kind of run into one and fall down. Get back into the trees. I love the Rusutsu trees. Who doesn't love the Rusutsu trees? It is magical to get into these trees and ride untracked powder. The Japanese birch with their branches just caked in snow. There was some sasa grass, as you can see, still poking out. And it's still early season, so you want to keep your nose up, keep the tips up. You don't want to get hooked on any branch or any tree that's fallen down. So it's you're kind of like not 100%, not going full speed. But then I came down into this little pocket, little open section with a little bit of a sawa, a little valley. That was beautiful. Beautiful kind of reintroduction to tree riding. Of course, we had to go back pretty much to the same section for another run right away because it was so good. And uh, we kind of cruised on through there following Nakai and Stomu. And uh, I realized my follow game is not, uh, not up to speed yet because he left me in the dust there pretty quick. And uh, I was like, all right, forget it. I'm just going to turn the camera on on myself and film the rest of the run. So uh, I definitely got to work on my uh, my following skills. Still in kind of warm-up mode.
Oh yeah, that was great. That ah, that's so good. I, I gotta say again, the board was running so fast, and I really gained a new level of appreciation for the tune-up uh, skills of the people I give my boards to to work on. Uh, Gaku and Machami, those two guys are uh, incredible. All my boards have been running so fast this season, and I'm really starting to understand how much it improves the overall snowboarding experience. Huh. Wow. I was just going to come to Rusutsu and do a nice cruiser morning, get some powder by myself, show you the mountain, and go home. And suddenly, I meet up with some friends, including photographer Stoma, legendary local writer, and Olympian, fifth place at the half pipe in Salt Lake City, Nakai Takaharu. And suddenly, we had a mega session in the powder, in the trees, all over Rusutsu, and it was deep. Look at this. All right, we're going to end on a couple of shots around the resort here, just to give you a look at the scenery and the lifestyle. Everything caked in snow, as I said, just gorgeous. The old travel lodge, Genghis Khan, Yakiniku. Mm, making me hungry there. And here's a new corner. Guess that car. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find cool cars in the parking lots, and you can guess what they are. Uh, this one was just covered in snow, and I could not see what the brand was, what the model and make was. Let me know in the comments if you can guess what this car was. And that's it for today's ride. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back with another one as soon as I can. So busy. So much snow. I love it.